What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Samster Life video. Today we're sharing with you some tips, tricks and hacks for Snapchat. But before I do so, I'm just going to add for you over here my snap code. It'll be somewhere on the screen over here. Don't know where exactly because I'm going to edit it in later. Um, but I'm going to add it there for you to screenshot the screen right now and add me on Snapchat if you wish to do so. Or if you don't want to do that then you can just add me manually by, uh, by my username which is Samster Life. S-A-M, I'll put it on the screen anyway, I don't need to spell it out for you. Anyway, now that we've got that out of the way, let's go straight into the tips. Alright, basically this one, it's a filter, but it's not really a filter, but you can use it as a filter. Uh, what you need to do is take any normal picture like this, and then on the top over here you go to the emoji icon, uh, choose any emoji that you want with the colour that you need it, the, the filter to be. So for example this one here, we're going to make it yellow. What we do is we zoom all the way in, and you go to the outer, the far outer side of that emoji. The more you scroll in, the more transparent you find that the uh, that the colours are becoming. So now you got this nice little orange filter on your picture. If you want, then you can go ahead and add another one. So for example, we go for this blue one. Uh, bring it to the middle and just zoom in. Same thing again. Zoom all the way in, and then scroll up to the edge of it. And then you get a nice little blue orangey effect, and that is the secret filter in Snapchat. Alright, you may or may not already know this one. Uh, basically, it's take any normal picture and then just add a text in there. Let's say, hello, how are you? Question mark, question mark. Uh, let's make it big just so that you can see it. So, basically, what we do here is you just double tap on any word. So, this one over here, let's make it blue. Uh, let's make this one green and either you could go another step further by doing it per letter so we can make this one orange uh, let's make the uh, where is it the R make that one green and the A let's make that one red and you know that you just do it with all of them if you want just to make it nice little funky looking text in your snaps Right, with this one, uh, you might not know it, but at night when it's dark, uh, if there's not enough lighting around you, then you have a little, like a little moon icon that comes up on the top of your screen, and it will look a little bit something like this. It's only um, it only basically appears when you have it on the back camera rather than the front one. So let me change to the back one now. Okay, so as you can see right now, there's no moon icon on there. Uh, what you need to do to get it to appear is you got to get your finger. Hello, and just place it on the back camera, and there it is. It's now appeared. So now you can let go, and if you press it, you notice the screen's gone a little bit lighter. So it basically thinks that it's dark and just trying to brighten up the screen, and your pictures will come out much more brighter. So if I turn it off, there it is. It's gone darker. If I turn it on again, it's gone bright so that's to make your snaps nice and bright all right with this one it's basically a hidden color wheel which uh, not a lot of people know about let's, so let's take a picture a normal picture and then on top right corner, if you click on the drawing icon you have these colors over here standard colors what you don't know however is that if you press and hold on the color wheel and with that same finger just drag it to the left all the way to the left it's now turned white so you've now got a nice white colour to use in your snaps. If however you don't like white, you want to use black, then same thing again. Press and hold on the colour wheel, but just drag it all the way down to the bottom of the screen. It's now turned black, so you can use that one now. Uh, and if you, another thing you could do, you could then uh, take one of the colours, so say for example you've got blue here. The more you drag it to the left, you'll notice that it's getting lighter. So you don't go all the way to the end, slowly drag it to the left and you start to see it lighter and lighter. So this one for example, you could use this one as a blue one. Uh, let's give me a little moustache here. There you go. And also you can do the same thing by pressing and holding on the colour wheel, go to the left. And then as you go down, you'll start to get darker and darker towards the black. But before you get to the black, you have this nice grey colour so you could use a grey as well if you want. 
Again, not a lot of people know about this one. Basically, you do you take a picture and then you can use any filter you want. Say, for example, use that one. If you press and hold on the screen and use the other finger to scroll again, then I live in Abu Dhabi, so that's why I got the Abu Dhabi sign there. Um, or you could use any one that you want. So, say, for example, you use the temperature one. Then, if you that's now you got the two filters on there. You got the first filter it's for the uh, the color of the screen, and now you got the temperature on there. And if you press and hold on the screen again and swipe again, you can now add another one. So I could now say I'm at Abu Dhabi. This is the temperature, and this is me looking cool with the new color filter. So three filters in one picture. For you people out there that like to be your artsy and you know your good at drawing or maybe you're not good at drawing like me um, which is why I need it more than anyone else then you can basically use one of the emojis as a stencil so let me show you what I mean just take a normal picture it doesn't have to be of you but let's just take one of me for for example purposes and then you go to any of the emojis that you want to take a that you want to draw so let's say for example we're going to do this one here let's do the panda let's just make it big the size that you want it to be and then using the tricks that I taught you before so you press and hold on the uh, color wheel scroll all the way to the left so for me because my one's white I could then do an outline of it I'm just going to do this one quickly and you can color it in alright there you go I've just drawn it and the picture's still in the background Let's move the picture out of the way now by clicking out the drawing icon and just drag out the way and there we go, you can see that my drawing is terrible. <laughs> so let's just put the picture into the trash can there and over here you can just go back to the drawing icon again and fill out the parts that you can see now. So you can complete it, make it look good again, you know. But that's just a little quick rough copy of my panda. Okay, so this one's more of a tip for you guys to know who's added you and who hasn't. The way you do it is basically go to your friend's name. Uh, say for example, if you've got Gina, and uh, that's my wife. Obviously, she's added me. And as you can see, she's got a score next to her name, next to her username. If she has a score there, that means she's added you back. If she doesn't, that means most likely that she hasn't added you. So let's have a look at someone else. Say for example, I don't know, Jessica Alba, who I think has actually added me. Um, let me double check. Oh, what? She hasn't added me. I was sure she added me. I was so sure. She must have deleted me. But anyway, she hasn't added me. There's no um, score next to her name. So that's how you know if someone's added you or not. Okay, so the next one is, which I thought was kind of basic, but apparently it's not because um, a lot of people have been complaining about how now when you save your snaps, it goes to your memories and it doesn't go to your camera roll anymore. Uh, but there's actually a way of doing it and once I posted up on my snapchat uh, Telling people how to actually do it and so many people messaged me say, thanking me uh, telling me how much they It was annoying them so much. So it looks like it's actually a big problem for people um, So I'm gonna tell you how to do this one. It's basically you have to go to the settings. Let me show you here now You need to go to your not here to go down and go to the settings on the top right hand corner and then as you can see it says memories click on that and where it says under savings, it says save to. Right now, mine says memories and camera roll. If you go into there, you want to probably say only memories. It'll only be on that one. But what you want to do is put it onto memories and camera roll. Or if you want it not to go to memories, it just goes to your camera roll. Then select camera roll only. And then just press back and it's done. I right, with this one, you could basically change the time to a date or the uh, temperature from Celsius to Fahrenheit or vice versa and the altitude as well. So let me show you how it's done. Uh, basically it's taking on picture again and then if you scroll all the way to the speed for example you can change that one from miles per hour to kilometers an hour uh, or if you want to change the temperature you can just tap on the temperature and that changes to Fahrenheit or tap it again to go back to Celsius or if you go to altitude, press that and it will change it from meters to feet or same thing again to meters but in number format and feet in number format. Same thing with the time, tap on the time, it changes to date in number format or tap it again it goes to numbers and 
letters format or again just to go back to the normal digital format anyway that's been our video for today hope you enjoyed it if you did then please give a big thumbs up and if you haven't done so already then please subscribe and also don't forget to add me on snapchat at Samster Life. that's also my name for twitter instagram facebook and everything in my life so till the next video see ya